Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode. This is Maxi Limit. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, you comment and you like this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you are aware of any video that comes up on the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, really thank you for the support. You have a big thumbs up and keep up the good work. Today, we are going to continue with this device. I unboxed this device on my previous video. It is the Avipass camera. Today, I'm going to show you how to actually set it up. It's not difficult, but if you find it difficult, I'll go step by step and show you how to set it up. I'm going to do some uh, tests for it so you have an idea of uh what you can use this camera for if you're planning to buy one so i'm gonna go really really slow okay mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do from now we're gonna try to connect this to our computer but as you can see we do not have any port or we do not have any hdmi port or any specific port to connect to it because this camera can be connected uh via a network cable okay so we are gonna plug in a, a network cable somewhere here and via an IP address, we are going to be able to communicate between the computer and this, uh, and, this, um, and this device. And by the way, if you have not watched my unboxing video of this device, make sure that you check it out. I'll put the, uh, the link of the video in the description down below or somewhere on the screen right here or probably here. So make sure you check that out because it is amazing. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's start. All right, welcome back. Now we are logged in into the computer. We are gonna use the computer to be able to communicate with the camera. I'm going to show you in this part of the video how to communicate with your camera, how to set it up, and then we are going to do some examples. We're going to try to connect this using OBS. Okay, so let's start. As you can see, the camera is right here, but at this point, it's not working because it's not plugged in. And if you remember my yesterday video, this, those are the ports that we need. So for today's um, setup, we do need to use the power. But before I connect the power, I just want to put the internet cable first because we also need this to be able to connect through the computer. So we're gonna put it here and then we're gonna put the power cable here. And as soon as we plug this in, the, the, the device will go through a self test don't worry about it, it's normal. Once it's done, it's gonna stop moving. And then, you see it's blinking red. <clears throat> when the test is done, it's gonna switch to green. That's mean everything is set up and ready to go. Perfect. Then this is ready, okay? So, it's connected. It's plugged in, it's green. Then what next? Nothing is popping up on our screen. So we know that we have to go deeper on and do other stuff to be able to communicate with it. Okay, that's when it's very important to read the book that came with the device. But I already read it, everything is in my head. I'm gonna show it to you so you don't you guys don't have to actually read it. Okay. First thing first, you have to go to your network settings. Okay. You go to your network settings, you want to go to uh, network, you want to go to change adapter options, you want to go to internet, and then you want to go to properties. And then you want to go to internet protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Double click on it and you have this. Yours will be totally different. Let me explain to you. If you, if you have never been to this part before on your computer yours should look like this there will not be there will be nothing here okay everything will be like this but at this point we need to change some settings 
I'm coming here because I want to force this computer to have a static IP address, a fixed IP address. To do that, we need to go to use the following. I want to tell the system that, look, I want you to have this specific address which will not change unless I tell you so, okay? Now, before you change this address, there's a few things that you need to understand. To be able to communicate with the camera, we need to be on the same subnet. So, basically, the camera by default in the book, the IP address of this camera is 192.168.5.163. Okay? Good. So, to be able to communicate with that, you have to have something like this. Five dot whatever you want but the most important part is this five here so the second digit before the end of the IP address okay so five this is the subnet this is this is how it's called okay so from here I can choose anything I want as long as it has not been taken yet because if I put 163 right now it's not going to work because my camera is already on that IP address so I can do something like 165 yeah 165 67 whatever I want I can even choose one if I want to okay that's by default and the subnet will be like this and the default gateway you can choose it based on your internet connection but I've already gone through it on my first setup I already changed the IP address of my camera which is 192.168.0 because I want everything that's in my house, my computer, everything to be on the zero subnet. Then I'll choose dot 20. Again, that is a random choice. The 20 is not a big deal, but the most important part, like I said, is this one. Okay, since my computer IP address is 0.20 my camera's IP address has is gonna be automatically not done automatically but it must be also on the zero subnet okay then my gate will be 192.168.0.1 okay I'm gonna go okay I'm gonna go okay and then my computer is fixed on the static IP address of 0 0.20 good now I already know that my uh, my uh, camera I've changed it to 192.168.0.10 I'm going to see based on my configuration if the system can actually ping it ping is some kind of I'm calling you and then I'm, it's going to reply to me I can call you you're going to say yes I'm listening to you right so this is what we're going to be doing I'm going to tell the system look call this um, this camera okay and if the camera received the call and if it's connected if you said yes I'm here I'm sending you a reply okay so let's sign up and how we do it I'm gonna go ping then when we ping it ping an example can be call so then we call and we're gonna put a number so the number will gonna be the IP address so 192.168.0.10 remember I have already changed this by default. Yours should be 192.168.5.163. But since I changed it, it becomes 192.168.0.10. I'm gonna hit enter, and as you can see, we have a reply. It means that look, I can hear you. Can you hear me? And he replies back. Okay, this is just a simple language for you to understand. Because if you have to go deeper into the networking you can spend the whole day here but we don't want to do that okay perfect so we are all set we know that our computer has a specific IP address and then our camera also have a specific address so we can use that address to communicate okay that's why it's important to set the static IP address because what happens is if you do not at one point your DHCP your IP address that the computer that the DHCP gives your computer will expire and then the computer will give another IP address to your computer which sometimes you don't know that's why it's good to to really set a specific IP address so every time you want 
day night one year from now on it's going to be the same ip address okay but let's say in eight days if you did not choose a specific ip address it's going to change and you're going to see oh, what's my ip address so it's important to have that static ip address okay so so now just do a quick recap here we set up our network for your computer you set up and you assign a static ip address you assign a static ip address to your camera so they are able to communicate now what what do we do next everything is fine i can communicate with it but i cannot see any image i cannot see any video well to be able to see something you have to go to our browser any browser it can be uh, google it can be internet explorer anything now you want to put the ip address of the camera on your browser you do that Sorry, I chose it wrong here. So 192.168.0.10, you hit enter. Automatically, wow, it is connected to your camera. But now I'm faced with the username and the password. What is it again? Okay, again, that's where it's important to read the book. Because in the book, you have the username, a default username, and a default password. It's important once you log in to change that username and to change that password because anybody can what get into it because by default every camera has the same username and the same password which is admin admin you're gonna put it in you're gonna log in and this is me actually my belly <laughs> so as you can see now we have a um, we have a, a picture, at least I'm seeing myself, so I know that, look, the camera is looking at me and that everything is working fine. Actually, I have three cameras right now. I have this one, the uh, Vipass. I have my webcam that is filming me right now during, during the recording. And I have uh, my uh, Canon that is only focused here. As you can see, now we are getting somewhere. We can see pictures we can see everything that's me is working fine you see how fantastic it is we did not use any specific cable nothing we did not do anything fancy everything was absolutely simple just to tell you how this simple it is it's very easy to, to connect now okay i have this but yesterday charlie on your video you you're pressing buttons and the camera automatically changed yes because we actually set it up that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you. But before I show you that, I need to go to the configuration because remember I told you by default, this uh, camera comes with a different IP address. How did I change it? You have to go to your network configuration, you have to go to Ethernet, and this is how I change it. So again, you go to configuration, you want to go to networking and then Ethernet. So you have to remove your default uh, IP address that comes with the with the uh, camera which will be 0 0.16 no 5.163 then you're going to change it to however you want as long as they are in the same subnet I cannot stress that I cannot stress that enough it's important once you are done you click save and then we are done so we're going to go back to the preview we have our camera now I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, preset views. Let's say I want to, I want this view right now, my face, to be uh, one. Okay, I'm going to set it up the way I want it, and I'm going to press one. I want to, when I press one, I want to save it. So anytime I choose preset one, it's going to be my face, no matter what. Okay. I want to try to turn another preset. Let me see. Let's say uh, here, for instance, just my beautiful uh, beach, and you know. Okay, I want to do. I want to go to two, and I want to again save it. If you don't like it, you can always delete it. Okay. So anytime I press two, it's gonna be the picture. And then if I want to uh, move to uh, make it a little bit difficult here. I want to go to um, oh, preset three. Let's see what I'm going to do. Okay, this is my hand and my mouse. I'm gonna set this to preset three. 
I'm gonna save it. So we're gonna stop there. We can go up to you. Uh, we can go up to you know so many like infinite number of presets. Like that's what I'm saying. This camera only with one camera you have so many presets. But for the sake of this video, we don't want it to be too long. We're gonna stop at preset three. Okay, let's practice. So I want so. By default, if you let's say you are live streaming, you want to write this down because you will forget. You should write preset one is your face, preset two, the board or whatever the, 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 this board, or preset three, my hand. This is an example. If you are in a conference room, for instance, you can set preset one is the speaker, preset two is the public, or preset three is the uh, I don't know you can you can decide to do maybe uh, I don't know you can choose whatever you want but you understand the uh, the point here okay so I want to go to preset one okay I'm not gonna touch the comp I'm not gonna touch the camera I'm gonna just play it you see automatically comes to my face okay and directly if I want to go to preset two we know preset two is the board we're gonna play it automatically it's gonna go there and preset three automatically it's gonna go there okay you see how amazing this is and imagine you can set up to infinite number 254 preset this is insane for a single camera that is really crazy really without touching the camera like i could even set this camera right now on the ceiling and leave it I can control everything through my cap through my uh, through my computer that is so so amazing okay so that is how you do presets now for uh, for you guys uh, let me zoom out a little bit so you can zoom in okay I'm gonna set a preset 4 for instance okay preset 4 you're gonna zoom you know you're gonna zoom on my uh, Oh my eyes here. Okay, there we go, perfect. So I'm gonna set to pre preset four. Then I'm gonna do it again. Uh, preset one. I'm gonna play it. You see, automatically, adjust the zoom. We know preset two is the is the is the board. We play it. Perfect. Preset three is my hand. We set it. And preset four should be zoomed on my face. Oh, sorry. Preset four. You see amazing and you can speed you can increase the speed on how you want this preset to show up if i go to 100 it's gonna be fast okay i'm gonna go back to preset one perfect so that is basically everything that you need to know about this okay now uh for you guys that want because like right now i have this okay uh every time i have to go here i don't know where it's gonna go from here but if I want, if I, if you want to take this to the next level, you need to set this up with OBS, a streaming device. Because I believe if you are doing this, either unless you want to record the activity in your house, stuff like that, the main purpose of cameras these days is to do a live live event, on Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want. But to do that, how do we do it? You need a couple of applications. The uh, the cheapest one or maybe free one is the OBS. So it's important to you, you can check out my video about OBS. Uh, just go check it out. After you install it, like after you download it and install it, you want to go to OBS. And then this is your OBS. Okay, OBS, you see, right now it's seeing me because I already set it up before. Uh, but I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna create a new scene, okay? Uh, you're gonna go to scene, uh, let's create a scene too, for instance. So I'm gone. It's important to, to know how OBS works because you see now, even though I'm on scene two, I can still see myself here because this is the one that is, if I, if I do the transition, I'll be gone, right? So, okay, so scene two, we want to go to add, we want to go to, um, Media media source. Let's we wanna we wanna call it uh we wanna call it cam two for instance. Okay, an example you can name it how you want it. You click okay. Here you want to uncheck local. 
Now you need to put in a command. The command came with the book. It's kind of a whole bunch of numbers and stuff like that. I'm gonna go and copy the command and I'm gonna come back. So basically if you go here, this is the command. So again, come to, we already set up come to, we have to put in the command. So remember, you have to deselect that one and input, you want to put the command. Now, this will change. Because, because my IP address is 192.168.0.10, that's why I have it here. If you leave the IP address of the camera as a default, it's gonna be 192.168.5.163. All the remaining stuff is, is uh, it's gonna be there now AV1 and AV0 by default are the quality of the cameras let me show you what that means if you go back to our camera okay and we go back to configuration you will see that when we go to output uh, we can first change the format to be uh, 1080p at 30 at 60 70 so based on your internet connection you can go up to 1080p at 60 frames per second Okay, but my connection isn't that good that's why I'm at uh, 30 frames per second okay so you can change a whole bunch of stuff here okay uh, you can do the white balance and adjust however you want it you can you can adjust the uh, I mean you can adjust the image brightness you can do a lot of things here you have to dig in okay and then if you want to um, uh, yeah, so you can you can you have to dig in. You have to read. It's important to read the book. Uh, then here, stream publish is where we got this information from. Okay, so you see here, you have to. This is where we I copy the uh, the link from. Okay, live one and live two. Right now I'm I'm only I'm, I'm using this one. Okay, you can enable it or you can disable it. It doesn't matter, but. But the most important thing here is to put in the IP address, okay? It's important to put the IP address, okay? So, um, there we go, okay? And how do we get live one and live two? Here, if let's say I want live zero to be, for instance, a 64 by 480, I'm gonna select live zero. Every time I go to OBS, and I put live zero, the, uh, the what should I call it? Um, the screen resolution will always be uh, 640 to uh, 48, okay? And for live two, I'm having 320 by 180. So that's what that is. So all these configurations will show up on your OBS, but right now I'm using all these configurations. Okay, the bit rate here is slower again because of my connections. Okay, if like if I was like to say I want live zero, it's gonna be better. Okay, that's how you should understand it. Other than that, it's okay. Now, let's say I set up my camera and it's working fine and everything is good, and then but um, how do I? choose uh my presets okay unfortunately at this point in time i was not able to find a way to to automatically put it here but what i did was you know with obs we have so many options you have to go to um you have to go to view you have to go to dock you have to go to uh controls for instance okay well, let's not do control because it's going to be complicated for you. Let me do that again. Profile, you have to go to view, you have to go to um, dock, and I want to custom browse dock. Okay, so you can call it however you want it. So I want to call it control one. Okay, and then I want to change it. So control one is I want to take this, this page. I want to take the view page okay so i'm going to copy this url copy it i'm going to paste it here i'm going to go apply why is not applying 
copy it, copy it. Control one, URL, and apply. Close it. Let me see. Um, okay, maybe because I already did it, maybe that's why. Okay, so that's how I did it. But I want to go here and I want to put on on the dog and I want to put it on controls. There we go. So you see, control one. I applied, but it did not go. But it actually did it. So again here. So basically, what we did is we took this whole thing and we put it into the OBS. You're gonna tell me I'm not seeing the picture. If I do like this, you will see. If I put username which is admin and the password admin and i click enter you see it the exact same thing that is from here that i put on the obs okay perfect here you see it's simply amazing but because i just want this part i'm gonna reduce it a little bit like this because i don't want the picture part there we go, and I can bring it down. Oh no, bring it down a little bit. I don't want it to be too big. But it's fine, it doesn't want to, to be reduced. And you see, right now I have my uh, OBS fine, working fine, and I have my controller here, so I don't have to always go back here and come back all the time so i can control everything from here right remember again preset one is my face which is already there preset two is gonna be there the uh you see the board preset three supposed to be my hand and preset four a closer look of my face have some boy you see there we go so you don't need to go anywhere else you can control everything from here so let's say uh, preset one uh, the speaker want to speak you zoom in you set preset one then you would transit so it becomes live okay and uh, let's say you want to zoom on my hand as a preset two you do it gonna zoom up preset two and then uh, you, you do it okay that is pretty much it you can control it here it's amazing it's working fine and then uh, you can go live and that's it okay all right uh, unless I forget anything don't forget to let me know in the comment down below if you want to see a specific part of this video if you don't understand a specific part let me know in the comment section so I can explain everything to you Okay, uh, if you want to see me uh, unboxing or review any specific device, let me know in the comment down below. Most importantly, if you like this video, a quick thumbs up will not kill you. You just take one second, quick thumbs up, like, and then uh, yeah, comment and share this video with your friends and family, okay? And as for me, I will see you next time. This is Maxine signing off. Peace.